Now, lack of access to clean water, uh, to drinkable water, how much of that is bad governance? How much of that is lack of resource? Where do you see the biggest challenges in the coming five, 10 years that you're trying to address? I think uh, we have a mix of, 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 of both. Um, bad management or bad uh, long-term planning is quite um, a serious issue. Uh, not only planning for water, but also uh, uh, planning for uh, climate change. As a global society, we have taken water for granted. And that has to stop. Uh, water has to become um, everyone's business. And therefore, the investment in water-related um, um, infrastructure for us is a uh, key. So you, you, we found ourselves um, kind of in the same storm, but not necessarily in the same boat. So it, it's going to be very, very important for us to use that water as um, a cross-cutting, let me put it this way, um, investment. In almost every region, um, you, 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 you have countries that um, are having water stress. What makes it even worse is when you bring the agriculture dimension. We know that agriculture is more or less 75% the use of water. So addressing the issue of uh, practices, talking again about management or, or governance, um, improving um, practices in agriculture and making the agriculture practices climate friendly, climate sensitive, and use of technology will help us, particularly in countries that are water stressed. So when I look at Yemen, which has virtually no water access as a country itself, you've got a cholera uh, outbreaks and other significant disease because you don't have proper sanitation and water. How do we go about, I mean, if the water's not there, how are we going about addressing that? I mean, what does it mean to fix the water problem for a country like Yemen? How do you do that? Um, a country like Yemen, you really have to go with a, a multi-pronged approach. So we need to look, um, first of all, you can look at desalination because at least uh, Yemen, you have, um, the, you have the sea uh, to desalinate it. Uh, I can talk later on on uh, Somaliland in, uh, in Ethiopia where you don't even have the access to, uh, uh, um, to, the, uh, to the sea. Infrastructure is going to be key in Yemen. Investment in infrastructure and, and technology, and you will have to consider desalination, but that is expensive. Uh, this is where also uh, official development um, uh, um, cooperation um, ca comes to, um, um, to play. Sometimes it's true when you look at it, it's kind of, okay, where do we, um, where do we start? But you just need to invest at the same time in a different, uh, uh, in the, in the different uh, uh, dimension.